Hello, my name is Lauren Best. I'm a staff physician at BA Puget Sound in Seattle, Washington. I work for the Northwest Hepatitis C Resource Center and I am affiliated with the University of Washington Department of Medicine. So I'm going to talk today about a study that my collaborators and I recently completed looking at genotype 1 hepatitis C virus patients undergoing antiviral therapy. So we looked at a national sample of veterans. Uh, they all were started on antiviral treatment for their hepatitis C virus and we wanted to identify risk factors for discontinuation including patient, facility, and treatment characteristics that may be associated with staying on therapy longer. Uh, we felt that it was very important to consider the fact that some patients are deliberately taken off treatment by their providers because their virus is not responding to the therapy. So at week 12 and week 24, often there are good reasons to, uh, to stop the treatment if the viral load is not responded by then. So in our analysis, um, we looked at the first 12 weeks of treatment, and then we looked at week 12 through 24 among patients who were responding at week 12, and then again we looked at week 24 and beyond among patients who were responding at week 24. So uh, after dividing the treatment period into these three segments, uh, we uh, looked at our risk factors and found that before week 12, treatment discontinuation is associated with uh, cirrhosis, diabetes, uh, pretreatment substance use disorder, low hemoglobin, and lack of growth factor use. Between weeks 12 through 24, treatment discontinuation was associated with higher creatinine, pretreatment depression diagnosis, and lack of growth factors. And then after week 24, none of the things that we examined were associated with treatment discontinuation. So this result is important because we'd all love to find ways to keep our hepatitis C patients on treatment for as long as possible because this in the past has been shown to improve their success rates with treatment. So um, these results are, are interesting and especially uh, the result uh, regarding growth factors because growth factors are something that we can modify during treatment. Um, this study does not have the capability to prove that growth factors causes people to stay on treatment longer. You know, it may be because uh, the treatment centers that use growth factors are more experienced, or it may be um, any number of reasons you know, that could explain this association. However, it's certainly an intriguing finding, and it was our strongest predictor of treatment persistence before 24 weeks. We feel that it's an important result, and it may warrant future investigation in a prospective study design to prove that there is actually a link. So um, this article will be coming out in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology, and um, hope you will be able to read it. Thank you.